Welcome back to Awesome News TV and today we're going to talk about the predicted lineup and preview of the North London Derby. It's Tottenham versus Arsenal Sunday 4:30 kickoff. And today I'm going to do a preview and predicted lineup. But before we get into the video, I have four things for you guys to do right now. Click the subscribe button for daily videos. That's the first thing I want you to do right now. Have you done it? Have you clicked the subscribe button? Number two, I want you guys to click the notification bell so that you can get notification from me as soon as I upload and you can be one of the first people to click on my video. Number three, make sure you guys click the like button if you like the video. Come on, if you like the video, you have to like it. And number four, make sure you guys share this to your awesome friends and family. This is the most important game of every Arsenal fan. It is the North London Derby. Now let's get right into the video. Let's go. Now let's get right into the match preview of Tottenham vs Arsenal, which is going to take place on Sunday, kickoff time 4:30 p.m. So what the Team news for Tottenham is looking like is that Tottenham will check on the fitness of Harry Kane ahead of Sunday's North London derby with Arsenal in the Premier League. An unspecified injury saw the England captain miss Thursday's 3-3 draw with LASK in the Europa League but boss Jose Mourinho expects the forward to feature this weekend. Goalkeeper Joe Hart is also on standby to start for the first time in the Premier League this season amid a fitness concern for Hugo Lloris. Eric Lamella with the Achilles injury will not face Spurs rivals while Toby Alderweireld, Sergio Regulon and Carlos Vinicius are being assessed. Arsenal will be sweating on the fitness on th of Thomas Partey and David Luiz for the short trip. Partey, who has a thigh injury, has missed last four games whilst Luiz suffered a gash to the head during last weekend's defeat to Wolves. Nicola Pepe is banned and Gabriel Martinelli, who has a knee injury, is still missing as manager Mikel Arteta prepares to recall all the big hitters rested for the Europa League on Thursday night. It will be broadcasted on Sky Sports Premier League from 3.15pm and it will be a kickoff at 4.30pm. So Jones knows the prediction apparently. So what has happened is that Mikel Arteta, once a tactical genius, now a poor man's Unai Emery, of course I just... I guess that's far from the truth. He wasn't the second coming when he was out mastering Pep Guardiola en route to winning an FA Cup and his fall from washed up has been now. So what that's what the news regarding him is. And it looks like Tottenham are in beaten in the last six Premier League home games against Arsenal with four wins and two draws since a 1-0 loss in March 2014. It's their longest unbeaten home league run against the Gunners since a run of nine between January 1960 and January 1968. Arsenal have only lost back-to-back -back Premier League games against Tottenham twice in May 19-3 and November 2010. The team scoring first has failed to win 27 of the 51 Premier League meetings between Tottenham and Arsenal that have at least one goal scored more than any other fixture in the competition. Spurs failed to win 16 out of 25 times and Arsenal failed to win 11 out of 26 times. So it looks like it's going to be a very tough contest for Arsenal against Tottenham with Tottenham in top of the league and Arsenal sitting at 14th. Let's see how this will plan out now. Let's get right into the predicted lineup. Now let's get right into the predicted lineup of Tottenham versus Arsenal. And this will take place on Sunday the 6th of December at 4.30 p.m. So make sure you guys are ready for that video. I mean for that match because it's going to be very entertaining. Hopefully Arsenal can buckle up. The, lash, the leashes have been off the players now. They can be in a free sort of motion. It's time for the turning point. Let's make this a turning point, please. For the love of God, for the love of Christ. So the main thing everyone's going to be asking is what formation should Arteta play? Should he go with the 4-2-3 or should, should he go with the 5-3-2, 3-4-3, 3-4-2, 1-4-1-4-1? And for me, I think we should go with a 4-3-1-2. Or a 4-2-3-1. So basically, I'll stick with the same formation as Arteta did in the Europa League. And we'll get right into it. And we, when you look at the goalkeeper, there's only one man that's going to come in front of me. And that's going to be Burton. And he was sensational in the game at Leeds. He was a bit inconsistent in Wolves, but that wasn't his fault. But he does look as our main one. It looks like Runderson was looking a bit sloppy in the Europa League, to be honest. He ain't going to have a chance at all. Now let's get right into the left back position and for me, I want to go with Kieran Tierney. As you guys have definitely have realised, it's going to be at his position, he cemented it and he's going to be in that position for me. 
in the left center back position, I'm going to go with Gabriel. And he's been one of our top players. He had that amazing header. He can get those rough tackles in. He's a tall man. He can do a lot of things. And he's looking like a real um, buy for Arsenal at the moment. In the right centre back position, I had a doubt between either David Luiz, either Rob Holding, Callum Chambers, Pablo Mori, um, and other centre backs such as Mustafi, Socrates, but they're not going to get a shout in. It looks like it's going to be either Callum Chambers, actually, no, or Pablo Mori, I don't think, no, or David Luiz. They all look not fully fitness, so the one man for me is going to be Rob Holding, and I feel as a Holding is a sort of player that. In, he knows the meaning of the North London derby and he will literally perform to the best of his abilities. Now, when we go into the right back position, I'm feeling should we go with Ainsley Maitland Niles or should we go with Hector Bellerin or Cedric Suarez? For me, I think we should go with Ainsley Maitland Niles. The reasoning behind this is when you see Son running down the left hand, we don't want no Hector Bellerin. My guy is out of position 24 7. So we should go with Ainsley Maitland Niles in my opinion. If you guys disagree, leave it in the comments below. I want to know why you don't want to see Ainsley Maitland Niles at the right back position. He was a sensational in the Europa League. The only thing that he lacked was the goals, but he looks like a proper good player for the right back position. In the two centre mid positions, I'm going to go with Thomas Partey. Uh, hopefully this guy comes back from um, his injury. He's back into training. He's really pushing Arteta to play in the team match. So hopefully he does play, hopefully he can show his worth and it's going to be an important game for Party, and he can really be significant in the turning point of Arsenal's career in this season. In the other centre mid position, I'm going to go with Danny Ceballos. The main reason behind this is he looks quite decent and he, he's, he needs someone different to Thomas Party. I feel as though El Nenny can still fit the bill but for me, we need someone that can offer something different and that's Danny Ceballos for me. In the centre or the number 10 row, I'm going to go with Al Alexandra Lacazette. You see what this guy does when he's on his game and you see his record against North London derbies. London derbies is his only thing. For me, he will get the goal in my opinion. Watch when he does get the goal. You guys will be really saying that it's true because this guy loves scoring against London teams and he will score against Tottenham, mark my words. In the right wing position, I'm going to go with Willian because this guy is another guy that only scores against Tottenham and that's his club and he really wants to perform to his best of ability and he got with the likes of Nicola Pepe out. Nicola Pepe needs competition and Willian wants to prove it through this um, game. In the left wing position, I'm going to go with the likes of maybe Bukayo Saka, maybe uh, he wants to even have in the left wing position. We don't have the likes of Reese Nelson, I mean the likes of um, Nicola Pepe, so we could go for Reese Nelson or we could go for Bukayo Saka, but for me, it has to be Bukayo Saka because he looks like an amazing problem in my, an amazing problem for defences in my opinion. He can put those crosses in and he has a good ability in my opinion. And he knows someone as a Hayland boy what Tottenham versus Arsenal means. And then in the striker position, there's going to be one man, our talisman, our, our captain, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. This is the game. There's news regarding this that Arteta made everyone tell, come together and tell, say, why has Arsenal been performing really bad? And everyone was shouting at each other, shouting at each other, saying that he's a problem, he's a problem, he's a problem. And then Aubameyang said, okay, now this is a turning point of our season. Let's get this win and we can bounce back from here. And Aubameyang needs to get a goal. Let's try and get this big dub, guys. I'm hoping for at least a 4-2 or a 3-1. Let's go full attacking. Tottenham are going to play sloppy defensive as always. Let's get, beat this Mourinho ball and literally go with our attackers. Let's other than that, guys. Hopefully, you guys love this predicted lineup and preview. Hopefully, you guys are agreeing with my lineup. If you don't like my lineup, leave it in the comments below. I will say my reasoning behind it. And make sure you guys comment, 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 share, subscribe, like. And that's it from me. Remain blessed and peace.